Hi, I'm Steve Wright, I'm the CEO for Christie's. We're a 248 year old UK hat manufacturer and today we're going to show you how we make our Royal Ascot and Ascot official license collection here at our factory in Oxfordshire. So Christie's was established in 1773, making us one of the oldest hat manufacturers in the world and the only hat manufacturer in the UK still using traditional methods to make our hats and accessories. The same methods and machinery that we would have used almost 250 years ago. We've been working with Ascot for about four years, being a real institution of British racing and really institution of British hat making. Um, it, it felt like a great relationship. All Panama hats um, originate in Ecuador and they, they, they're made from a, a particular grass called the taquilla palm. So every single hat that you see was hand woven, which took about a week. We bring that hat into the UK and then we use our Christie's Magic Touch on it to craft and create from scratch the hat that you see on the shelves today. So the first part of the process involves taking this uh, Panama hood. The next part of the process is we steam the hood and we steam the hood to give it some flexibility before we start to press the shape into the crown. So now we've steamed the hood, it goes into the block. This is our downbrim block. This is what presses the shape into the hat. The block goes up and this now presses the, the first shape into the Panama hat. So in this stage, what Paul's doing now is he's applying a stiffener to the hat. Once this is applied, we leave the hat to dry for about 24 hours and that just stiffens it up and helps it retain its shape. Okay, so what Paul's doing now is a final press and what this does is it just firms up the brim and the brim shape and makes sure that the eyes and the shape of the crown remain nice and, and firm. As the hat comes out of the press, you can see that the shape of the hat now, you've got a lovely curve to the brim. The eyes and the crown now are, are fully shaped. So the hat's placed on the rounder, held into place, we set the measurement and then that's cut with a razor blade by hand and the hat starts to take that more familiar chilby shape. Shirley's going to demonstrate how we bind the edge. So you can see Shirley's done that by hand on the sewing machine. It's a really, really skilled thing to do, but that just protects the edge of the hat and it's these small details that make our Christie's hats so special. So you can see our satin pad here. So we have the Royal Ascot logo. We make the satin pads ourselves, they're constructed, the ribbons and the labels are applied here, um, so they're made to fit um, the exact size of the hat. So for the next stage of the process, we're going to hand over to Sharon, and she's going to put the sweatband and the tab on the hat. You can see that everything's done here by hand, and this is a band that's made exclusively for the Royal Ascot collection, using the Queen's Racing Colours. And there we have a finished Christie's Royal Ascot Panama hat.